you everyone it's Darman and welcome back to another video on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links this is going to be the finale of my Road to King of Game series um, just because I'm going to get to it in this episode no matter what I got I got a little bit of time on my hand uh, two things though two things before we start I do want to apologize for two things I should say uh, I want first I want to apologize for yesterday's episode um, I did explain that I had a birthday party to go to uh, after the recording and in the back of my head during the entire recording I kind of felt rushed and I made sloppy plays and you know I should have known better than to record but I did want to get a recording done so definitely not the best time to make a recording uh, when you're feeling rushed definitely uh, the second apology is a little bit different uh, because you have no idea what I'm gonna what I'm gonna apologize for so um, br blind, blind, blind wrestlers who we lost to yesterday, or in yesterday's video, I should say. Um, and then we beat Bandit Keith, I believe, right after. Now, this is where it kind of gets a little crazy. It's the same day, you can see, against Coco. And, uh, I did that at 11.46 p.m. Uh, intoxicated, I may add. Uh, I got home from the birthday party and from playing Pokemon Go with my family and friends and, you know, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do some duelings. I'm gonna get the King of Games drunk. That'd be awesome. You should, you should probably hit the record button. I did an entire recording session and I had forgotten to hit the record button. So, I beat Coco. I beat a Mako deck for the first time in forever. And then... I lost against Mai, and it was a very easy win, may I add. Uh, I think I played Sphere Karibo instead of a trap card on accident and immediately messed everything up. I think instead of Golden Apples, I put I swiped up Sphere Karibo, and it was it was just dirty. I lost, like, th that was like Bronze 1 level of loss. I was embarrassed. Uh, I then proceeded to beat Joey. And then I, I, that's where I would have ended the video. I said, uh, goodbye, everybody, stay tuned, love you guys, all that. I didn't say that, but, you know, I do love you guys. Uh, I went into bed, and I was like, oh, I'll knock some more, because I was going to bed thinking, hey, I'm going to be able to get closer to King of Games if I play. Um, so I did one match, and then woke up. Hey, there's no video. What happened? Oh, you didn't hit record? That's really awesome. Uh, today, I have done a couple more matches. The, uh, the, the Kaiba, I was going to say the Seto Kaiba, and then the words just kind of verbal diarrhea out of my mouth. The Kaiba duel was not very memorable. I think I just wiped him out. The Gantz Yugi duel, though, was a little bit rough. He had Red Eyes Black Chick on the first turn, and then immediately Special Summons Red Eyed Black Dragon. And uh, it was a tough turnaround. He got me down to, what, 1,600 life points after attacking. Uh, and then I immediately used Ryoku, killed him, and then uh, Autonomous Action Unit summoned him right back. And then it was I was at like 100 life points for the rest of the match. It was a little crazy. So I don't know how close I am to King of Games. Hopefully it's this match because I don't... Uh, I do have time today, but I don't want to be playing this all night because I said I would play until I get it. Oh, are we both about to become King of Games? This is the match, in fact, so... If we win, we continue. If we lose, we'll play some more, but he's got 20 cards. This man using Power of Dark. This is going to be a match of matches. So we're going to wait and see what he plays. If he plays a monster face up, Golden, oh, of course, you're not going to freaking know Golden Apples. I will still set Golden Apples down because I definitely want to have that just in case. He has Yami on the field, so I will have a small advantage. Um... I'm gonna just go for go for the monster. Let's go for some life point hits. I know it worked. And we got rid Oh, is this a Gravekeeper deck? You're putting up me up against the Gravekeeper deck. I could immediately just get uh Gravekeeper's Priestess. I think we don't. I think we we wait. I think we waited out if we if we get hurt or anything, if he has golden apples, which he didn't. I almost did. She would have been, cause, or well, Yugi would have. Uh, it would have been up to 1,200 attack. He would have had 1,100 life points left. Um, do, do you got anything? This, is, this looks sort of like a win. Uh, embodiment of Apophis, anything? Now I'm kind of nervous. I could have actually just used Autonomous Action Unit and summoned Blue Eyes White Dragon. <sighs> plays, plays, plays. I'm not smart. Not smart today. This. I hope this is not... 
this is can't just be it okay you 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 that was that is the card you played you got very lucky i'm not going to deny that that was a great card he may have had it but why wouldn't we have placed it on the first turn you're just not getting monster cards oh i i'm sorry so this is what i'm kind of nervous to summon blue eyes white dragon to get all, like because i'll be down to 2500 life points myself hey could i could you know could i take my turn please this is going to be a short video possibly if i can win this i'll be king of games and maybe we'll just have to go you know talk about some crud yeah i'm gonna summon i think i'm going to summon blue eyes white dragon but does he have blast held by tribute i don't know that's the thing that scares me also please anything do anything I'm not going to. I'm not going to use a Tonimus action unit. Hear me out. If he has Blast Held by Tribute, it'll probably be uh, a crushing defeat for me. I would love to, you know, take my turn or do anything. Um, if he does, if he has Mirror Wall, I have Sphere Cree able to save me. I have Half Shot. I do have Golden Apples at a, as a lap. You're just, you're going to end. This is the win for King of Games. You're going to give me the win just like that. <laughs> Please. This is the most anticlimactic King of Games. When I got my first King of Games match, it was against Odeon. I'm King of Games. Oh no. This is not how it was supposed to. Six minutes in and we're King of Games by a little baby who just did not want to play. And King of Games unlocked. It's been a while, my old friend. Uh, I guess we're going to just do a duel for fun. I guess that's exactly what we're going to do, because we can't just end off... Oh, 50 gems, take it, you've reached. You've reached the rank that you've always wanted. There's no... We Okay, get this. We are king of games now. First of all, I am leveling up... Hello? Don't do that. I'm, I'm playing this game, I'm recording it for people. First of all, we have no one, but it's still one card hand. Let's do this. Of course, uh, I want this, because it does give me the most experience for my characters. Uh, so let's do a Vagabond duel, and then we'll probably do a fun PvP duel. Um, what could I do? Do I just make a deck on the spot? This is gonna- this is, oh, great first card. Let me tell you, I'm so excited to have this card. Golden Apples, though, that could save us. That could give us a little bit of a upper hand. Okay, now I'm going to immediately lose my Golden Apples. Well, I'm sorry that, I mean, that we already became King of Games. Uh... I don't, I don't know what to do with my hands. Did I miss something? Was it because Malice Token came up that he got the free hit and I wasn't paying attention? I was looking off to the side? Good. I didn't want to win this match anyway. I only wanted 2250 experience. <sighs> I mean, why not? I mean, stop this, man. He's on the loose. He's going to beat me. What could save me? Golden Apples again. That's exactly what could save me. Now summon... Dark Magician. Summon something with 2400. No, it's a trap card. Don't even worry about it, bro. I am got golden apples on the brain. I'm so happy that I'm... You're gonna summon Sphere Karibo to the freaking field? Oh my goodness, you're wasting everybody's time, Vagabond. We gotta go make a deck. It won't be the same deck underneath my face cam, obviously, but... Uh, yes, golden apples. Golden apples me, please. Uh, do I get rid of... I think I get the Unshaven Angler off the field. That's probably the smart play. And we can also... I, I've already forgotten, because I don't use in the Turia Strawberry. How, how many defense points did you have? I didn't think it was that many, so... Plays could have been made. I could have sacrificed my Malice Token. I mean, that's kind of what I expected. But now I can summon my WDG and get him on the field if I need to. And then hopefully we can just get Blue Eyes White Dragon and get this win. Let's pull the W out from underneath us. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Just gonna clone me? Okay. Um, well, let's get rid of that clone. Perfect. Uh, you know, things could have been done. I could have used uh, Kaiser Seahorse to take out the, the clone token and then use Malice token. But I do think I'm just gonna play it a little less crazy anyone else hear that little hiccup in volume it just kind of went mute in my headset for a moment let's take the time i'm gonna take my time i should say to say thank you guys for following me on my road to king of games it was very anticlimactic i can't believe the final match was just someone that couldn't follow through and finish the match so i'm going to extend this episode all those words came out completely wrong if you couldn't tell but 
I'm just going to do a little bit extra in this episode, make it maybe 15, 20 minutes. And we're also going to be... Could have played, you know, could have played WDG and end the match, but I'm impatient. And never in my once brain did I think, hey, he's going to have Enchant Javelin. Now we summon. Now we be smart. We be smart people and just get this done. Yami ship. Oh my goodness. You, you, you lost. That was silly. See, I don't even see plays sometimes. Sometimes none of it clicks. Literally, I just don't see anything. And that's why I have you viewers to comment and let me know everything I miss. Because then I go and read all the comments and I see everything that I did wrong. And okay, we are going to select someone at random. You, normally I just go down. I'm not looking. Yeah. Leg Legos? Legolis? Is this an elf? Are you an elf? Someone asked me to do a Shaggy impression. Um, yeah, I can do a Shaggy impression. I'll do it. Also, there's a bug going on. Uh, the weekly missions. This is someone. Someone tweeted this at me. Um, that this was going on. Uh, and he pointed out this is because of the KC Cup probably coming out tomorrow. Well, tomorrow for me, it was already going on for you guys. But this was to promote people getting to stage 20 and getting all these free gems so that is pretty cool for anybody that is not at level 50 because it doesn't affect me and I can't use it now I forgot what I was gonna do Legolas oh shaggy impression uh, from Scooby-Doo I'll do it if if something crazy happens it may not be this video it may be this video I swear I had a really I mean I could use my tyrant dragon deck you know what this is literally my favorite deck is my my parasite deck not exchange where is it is it this deck is it just deck please i want to use my infestation deck yeah okay let's do it because it's fun i like this deck um we'll just do one it, you know what we're at king of games i don't actually know if you can be demoted but we're just gonna do one match with my fate my personal favorite fun deck like using parasite infestation even using that literally hey yoshi how's it going hello that was awful. Don't ever ask me to do another Yoshi imitation uh, ever again. Impression? Is it an imitation? Also, I does that person have a, like the black mat because it's pretty dang awesome and I enjoy it. Okay, well we can see that my card's straight up right up on top, so we don't need to use Jade Whistle. We are going to use Four Star Ladybug right now and save Yami Ship for later it is a mako deck and people were saying hey the reason you're not seeing mako decks are because they're already king of games you would be 100 percent correct and and by all means this man could probably just summon dragon daedalus right now big wave small wave yeah i mean literally exactly what i just said wipe the field good sir good thing i didn't put yami ship down 100 percent good thing i didn't put yami ship down i would not be able to counter the the dragon of daedalus's what do we have going on for us right now basically nothing we're going to summon another uh parasite to the top of the deck i didn't see how many cards he had in his hand so i don't even know how many were inserted into his deck if any only one okay two two were added so we will get a, we get a little bit more damage done to this man uh this is going to be his card that he draws so he actually is probably going to attack with levia dragon daedalus and then end up destroying it. We can use our Gigi Guga Panda, and uh, like Zoinks, he's dead, man. That was really bad. Now I feel embarrassed that I said I could do a good one. Oh boy. Uh, so yeah, let's go and take this man out. We also have Windstorm of Etiqua. Et Etiqua. We can do that. And look at this. He could have Mere Wall or something, but who cares? He's a thousand damage of life points. Go ahead. Uh, what what could win us this? Not very much. We are going to put him into defense mode. Uh, if he has less than... I mean, if he doesn't even summon anyone, he's probably screwed. Did you get a spell card? Are you going to quit just like everyone else? He didn't. Okay. I'm just going to use this because I don't know if I can wait till the damage step. Just put him in, just put him in defense mode. Thank you. I'm going to do 500 life points of damage to this man. I think. I'm pretty sure. Do I just go and, like, do it face up? I, I don't know. Does this work? What is his face down card, guys? Someone tell me in the comments because I never know what cards are. And everyone in the comments can just 
call exactly what it is. Yeah, I'm gonna lose now, but that's because I'm an idiot. This is this is what I expect from like normal King of Games matches. I'm just gonna attack for fun. Oh yeah, he's got mirror wall. <sighs> oh, yeah. You know that was a good. This is a good video. We won King of Games by being. I don't know if we were an idiot, but we won it somehow, and then we ended up. The 800 life points. We'll have. Fi you didn't take out four star Ladybug of Doom. Excuse me. Do I have rear Yoku? Because that would have been pretty fantastic. Uh, I guess we just do this and hope he doesn't pull a monster from underneath his deck of hats. I, I, you know, this is why I do videos, because I like to have fun. I don't go for the wins. Going for King of Games was the most going for a win I've done on my channel ever, actually. Like, any series I've ever done, I don't go for a win. I just, you know, I just have a lot of fun playing. So... We have reached King of Games, and then we promptly lost when we probably 100% could have won. No doubt in my mind, had I just played it safe, put 4-star Ladybug of Doom face down, we would have won against Yoshi. What did I do now? That was 5 PvP duels. 5 gems, 35, 60, perfect. That's all. I just, I don't want any more gems past that. Excuse me? Did I click on something? I didn't think so. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. And don't forget to do that, whatever I just said. And don't forget to share this video with your friends because if you enjoyed it, they may enjoy it as well. Stay tuned. We have the KC Cup coming out. It may have gone up before this video has even gone up, but who knows? I don't know when the KC Cup is starting. Bye!